Hey, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I, I know I'm a little late to the show on this, but uh, I remember this game when my kids was little. And uh, I got up this morning because I have a vacation day, and I'm thinking about buying this. Uh, that's why I got it on screen. I'm, I'm going to put it on my wish list. But uh, I just remember this game back when it first came out. And uh, I know it's been, uh, you know, I, it came... Uh, uh, I think it came out in 2003, I guess. Uh, but uh, I'm just wondering if you guys bought this or do you have it on the 360? Because I know you can buy it for the 360. But I just happened to see that it was... Uh, I see here you got a PS5 and a PS4. And uh, I, I, I just barely remember playing this game back when I was young, younger because my kids was little and they were playing a lot of games but I remember getting this game for them but uh, man you guys there are so many fond memories of so many different older games but I read uh, one of the comments on here that this has been remastered once before uh, it said that uh, but one of the comments I read on here says whenever you played the original or it's remastered or this is your first time experiencing Jade's Adventure Beyond Good and Evil. 20th Anniversary Edition is a great version of a genuinely wonderful game that truly does the original release justice and, and even adds to it. Either way, it's a Stone Cone classic and well worth your time. So, <clears throat> anyway, I just read some of that because I'm thinking about buying it, but I'm going to put it on my wish list right now because... Uh, I am really going to start watching how I spend my money. I I got I do good on my I'm really tight. I'm I'm really really like to watch how I spend money. But this thing's only 20 bucks. But I know I could probably get it cheaper just for the Xbox 360, but I do remember this game. Uh but uh it, I just wondered if you guys bought it or you got it on the Xbox 360, do you remember anything about this game? But uh yeah, it says Beyond Good and Evil's 20th Anniversary Edition on the PS5 is a very strange experience. At least it was for me. Uh, one of my all-time favorites, this is somebody that's talked about it. But like many games of the era, it's very much of its time, especially in the mechanical sense. Even when I played the remaster in 20... See, it did come out in 2011 as a remaster. It was a game I struggled to go back to. I've written about it fondly before. And I've always had a soft spot for it, but was a game that never lived up to the memory of it. So I haven't really touched it, touched it in the last 13 years. Then it says, so what's the difference about the anniversary edition? Well, loads. This is somebody that's, you know, I'm just reading some guy, some person that reviewed it. It said, what's the difference about the anniversary edition? Well, loads, but also not a lot. The story follows Jade, a freelance reporter who also runs an orphanage for children affected by humanity's war and with the Dumsy and alien race. The world of Helis is a lot like our world, only, only with the animals and some pretty cool tech. So anyway, I'm just reading some of this stuff, but uh, he said that uh, when called upon fight, Jade does so with her Dijal, uh, Daiju staff, which affects what well, affords her a few combos and charge attack. Combat isn't particularly deep or nuanced, but it feels smooth and satisfying. Uh, 20, 20 anniversary edition later, you can acquire a uh, uh, gross dick glove, which lets you attack the enemies at range and solve fairly simple switch puzzles. But, uh, I'm just reading some of this stuff on here. Uh, it's not going to be a long review. I'm just letting you guys... I'm just asking, did you guys get this? Or have you played it before? Is this one of your favorite games? Or is this one when you have memory? Because guys know I like older games. But this is the one that slipped under my own up, under my radar. Uh, uh, said That said, of this game, the 20-year-old, even it does look gorgeous now, there are some clunky animations and a few... Too many un, unskilled stealth sections and a generous helping of early 
naughty sass and dialogue, but it is still good with tighter, more responsible controls. We work soundtrack, although to be honest, I would have known if the marketing hadn't told me and a few extras thrown in there. This, I'm just reading one, one of these uh, people that's played the game and tried out the new game. Uh, they say, in addition, uh, Ubisoft Ubis have put a few modern extras in there, such as cosmetic outfits of Jade, something rarely seen and seen back in 2003. So, yeah, I guess they, they did a remake. They did, a you know, another version of it back in 2003. And even with the whole new ending that leads to Beyond Good and Evil 2, yeah, you read that right. Not only still in development somewhere, but it's also really enough to warrant the whole new ending of the first game. Yeah, now, I have heard stories about they have, uh, you know, uh, Beyond Good and Evil 2 coming out. So, I get what some of these reviewers are saying, to my point, is they probably remastered it to get everybody kickstarted so they can get interested in the new one. But, uh, usually, man, uh, I don't know about new games, man. You guys know how I feel about new games. Uh, it's uh, but anyway, what you guys think? Did you guys try this out? Did you buy it? I I, I know it's they got it for the Switch too. Uh, you know for the Switch that's you can play it on the Switch. But I might just go ahead and buy it because I like older games and uh, yeah, I know I could probably get a you know a cheap version on the uh, you know on Amazon, but I. I like to see what this upgraded version, because the only reason why I'm, I'm talking about this is because I did see, I do like games like this, and I don't think, these older games are just so much fun. And I remember my kids playing this game, but I don't I don't know too much about it afterwards, you know what I mean? Because all my kids are grown. And uh, let's see, Xbox, the PlayStation 2, Beyond Good and Evil, $44.00. Uh, Xbox 360, it's $44. Uh, game, they even got it for GameCube. Got GameCube, I remember that. Uh, but the Xbox, three, Xbox 360 version. Yeah, this has got a triple pack is what I'm looking at. But I'm just going to go ahead and stick with the... Uh, Now, beyond, there, here's one Beyond Good and Evil GameCube Renewed and it's $122.11 $122.11 nah anyway I just thought I'd drop a video and talk about this this one is uh, one on on the site Xbox 360 is going for $34 and uh, $34 and uh, 35 cent and all these are used and I'm not paying no $34.35 for no... I have paid money for games like that, though. So I can't really say that. But anyway, I didn't want to make this a long video. I'm just... I'm not going to... I'm not going to get on here and get the game on 360 when I can buy it on here, uh, you know, for... Like it says, $19.99. I'm going to give it a whirl. I'm going to give it a whirl. I just want to know what you, what y'all's take on. Do you think it's worth it? Or I know a lot of people y'all probably played this game and you probably like they're just they're probably trying to hype up the game that's coming out, which nobody really knows when that game's coming out. That new one, I'm not too interested in the new one. I was interested in this because it's old. Uh, but I just uh, I'm gonna look on eBay. Yeah, let's see what it says on eBay. See, it ain't that bad. Beyond Good and Evil, uh, PlayStation 2, that's $32.95. Beyond Good and Evil on PlayStation 19.95. I don't have a PlayStation 2. Um, oh, these are PlayStation 2, so this game must be pretty up there. Uh, I don't even have 360 listed in here. I'm on eBay right now. So, yeah. Yeah, these, all these games, Beyond Good and Evil, anywhere between... One's $11.99, that's pre-owned. 
That's PlayStation 2, so. Uh, man, when did this game come out? I'm just, it said 2000, I thought it was 2003. Let's see. When did Beyond Good and Evil come out? November 11th, 2003. According to Wikipedia, Beyond Good and Evil was first released for PlayStation 2 in North America on November 11th, 2003 with versions for Microsoft Windows and Xbox following on December 2nd of that same year. Hmm. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Not right now. I'm going to put it on my wish list. But, uh, yeah, it's, in, it's on my wish list now. So that way I'll get it, not this Friday, but the Friday after next. Because I really like these type of games. So anyway, you guys, I just... Thought I'd drop a quick video now. See, did you guys ever check this out or have you played it? What's your thoughts on it? Do you have fond memories of it? Do you like the game? Do you not care for the game? Do you, you, you think it's a waste of time buying this upgraded version and all that kind of stuff? But I just, I like to have all these old games. Yeah, I know this is going to be digital and I won't have physical. Now, if they had, I don't know. I like to own physical, but anyway. God bless. Take care. I'm we'll catch you next video. We'll see.